All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and start this right here. Um, we have decided that we're going to combine a few things on some game planning. So I wanted to go over kind of how we game plan. Also want to show you in huddle how we run cutups, how I do my self scout, and then also show you how we script practice. So um, the biggest thing that, that I, I believe um, is, you know, I don't want to waste any time on the weekends, like absolutely zero time on the weekends, okay? So um, the biggest thing that we, we want to do is be incredibly efficient. So we're going to talk about, you know, kind of some game planning stuff, um, how I organize my call sheet uh, and things of that nature. So the biggest thing that, that we talk about all the time, and I think you need to be really, really smart, um, is what games relate to you most, okay? We are a no huddle spread fast team, okay? It does me no good if one of the three games I'm breaking down is a wing T team. I'm not going to watch that, okay? And and I've spent so many – so. I've wasted time before sitting around trying to find out, you know, which team is which. Uh, I remember one night we, we broke down a JV game and, and it was just total waste of time. So um, we're, we're going we're gonna to make sure we, we do games that are relatable. If that means I got to go back some games, if I got to watch last year's games, but I'm going to make sure that, that we do uh, um, the games that are the most relevant. All right. Also, we typically do three games. Um, now, we get to the playoffs or state championship game, we may do five. But I, I typically do three games, and if I don't find enough information, then I can pull from other games, okay? Another thing, too, is we want to find what their identity is and what is their defensive philosophy. You can find out real quick um, how the defense lines up, um, how they're built. Some teams are built to stop the run. Some teams are built to stop the pass. So we really, really try to, to, to find out what their philosophy is. What is their base defense? What is their bread and butter? Um, you know, how are they going to line up to certain formations? We really try to get a base understanding of that as we get started. Okay. Okay. Now, when you start getting into game planning ideas, okay, the first thing we want to do is kind of, you know, we, wanna, we always want to try to go into it with being able to do what we can do. Okay. We, we really are a do what we can do mindset. But, you know, we, we want to find out, can we get our dudes against their duds? Okay, how do we create our best matchups? Um, we want to find out what they take away. Like, you know, are they built to stop the run? Or what do they allow? Do they give us grass? Um, how do we identify the looks? You know, in one of our courses, we've got a blitz book, and we've got every blitz drawn up. We've got every coverage drawn up. Okay, so we pretty much have a really good idea of how we're calling things. Um, are they a big blitz team? You know, who, who do they like to blitz? Do they like blitzing a certain guy? Um, Cut-ups, you know, we're going to run uh, a ton of cut-ups, and I'll get into that in just a second um, on, on what I run for our cut-up list. Okay, self-scout, it's usually three games, um, open week, non-region, and region self-scout. But, you know, we typically um, – I always do a three-game self-scout, and that's something that I watch every Monday – uh, is our self scout stuff okay? Um, we're going to do major tendencies. Uh, we're going to be conscious with be us. We're going to build off of tendencies. Again, formations, personnel, down and distance, field zone situations are really, really important. Um, now, typically on the weekends, we come out of the weekends with a base game plan. Okay, it is a very, very base game plan, base down and distance. You know, we're basically looking at our regular stuff, our regular down and distance, um, and, and base game plan, base stuff, all right? We want to come up with our base runs. You know, how do we do what we do against them? Um, our auxiliary runs. You know, we're going to have play action. We're going to have nakeds. Um, of course, this mirrors with the run game. The balance between getting back on track, intermediate shots, protection issues. That's something that we always talk about, too, is our protection issues. Um, and are there things that we need to do in protections uh, to help us, in, especially if we're a big blitz team, okay? Um, typically, every game, we're going to carry probably five or six quick games, five or six drop-back throws. Um, 
And we always want to try to carry man and zone beaters. We always want to carry passes that are good versus whatever they come out in, okay? Uh, protections, again, you know, let's say you come out in a certain formation and they blitz that formation, but then another formation, they don't blitz as much, okay? So, you know, we really, really try to lock them down with, with formation. Um, if you've got a great player, you need to have a touch chart in the box. You need to make sure that guy's getting his opportunities and you actually just script plays for that guy. Uh, we're going to throw a lot of screens, five to seven a game, uh, special shots. You know, we love pushing the ball down the field. Uh, we're going to throw it deep at least twice a quarter. Um, we're going to evaluate and eliminate. Um, Tuesday, take things out that we don't like. Um, you know, and then we track what we call as well. Also, what we do is we also script our first 12 plays of the game. Okay, we want it to be a mixture of run and pass. Um, I, I get total buy-in from our coaching staff on that. Uh, we have a drive starter cut up, which is the best plays off the sideline. Okay, we want to make sure that we're really efficient on first and 10. Okay, a big, a big game planning piece is third down. Okay, and, and that's what, what is their philosophy by distance. Um, identity of game plan, protection, blitz answers, what carries over from regular down and distance. I try to carry as much over from regular down and distance as to, from, to third down as possible. Self-scout tendencies down and distance. I'll always self-scout third down, okay? So I'll know, hey, on third and three, this is what I've called the last game, okay? So you're constantly breaking tendency. Let's go to um, some, some scripts, and I want to show you kind of how we do our scripts and talk about the scripts here. All right, so if, if you look at kind of how we do our scripts, and I'm talking really the scripts, I'm not talking the practice schedule, okay? Everybody's going to do their own thing here. All right, but let me pull this up. All right, so let, let me zoom this a little bit. All right, so you see kind of how, um, you know, we, we do things. All right, so when we script practice, guys, when we script practice, okay, for example, here's our screen drill, okay? All right. You know, we typically, let's say we're in a 10 minute period here, we're gonna get probably um, 12, 14, 16 plays, depending on how we're doing it, all right? So, you know, formation here, play here. If you wanna put your front, stunt, blitz, or coverage, you can do that. Okay, in the screen drill, we don't, we don't do it as much, okay? But let's say you wanna go, you know, a four one, um, no stunt, no blitz, just cover four, okay? That way when you're looking at your, your, your uh, script, okay, you know exactly what the scout team's going to be doing. And it's even better, let's say your defense calls uh, cover four black, okay, or whatever. So put black coverage, and now you're, you're, you're speaking the defense's language, um, and it's a lot better. All right, let's say right here we're running a missile screen. We want to go four one. Let's go bullet, weak, cover one, okay? So now we want to run a missile screen, okay, into a blitz, all right? So bullet would be a guy off the edge, and we would line him up in cover one, and we would bring the bullet or the blitzer, okay? So that's something that you can do that's really, really cool. Um, now we get down to inside run, okay? So now we've scripted inside run, okay? You've got four, two. I've even got who I want in the game. You know, that way we script. And, you know, if you got three or four running backs, you know, we want to make sure they all get equal reps, all right? So we would we would put who we want, 4-2 under, 4-2 over, whatever you want to do. All right, now we get into 7-on-7, seven seven, okay? So here's 16 plays of 7-on-7. Seven seven. All right, one with the – 10 with the ones, six with the twos. Now – Something that's really, really important to guys, you want to make sure that you always put the ball and move the ball. Don't just put the ball in the middle of the field every time. Move the ball, left hash, left middle, middle, right middle, right, right middle, middle. Move the ball. Move the ball up and down the field. Put the ball off the line. Put it on the line. That way your receivers um, are getting multiple reps and they're, they're able to line up on the right hash and the left hash. So right here you see that I wanted a 4-1 quarters coverage. I want the corners to bail. I want the safeties at 10, the flat foot read. Again, this would be a Monday, okay, Monday schedule where we're really working on the base look that I think we're going to see to 2x2 two two, 10 personnel, okay? Then you get down to your team stuff. 
Here's 14 with the ones, here's eight with the twos. Okay, so we're getting four one cover eight, four two cover eight, four two cover eight. You know, we're either gonna get a four one or four two base defense um, to our basic formations, okay? So that's a Monday practice right there, all right? Coaches, Rick Stewart with All Access Coaching, where we're all about coaches helping coaches. Thanks for watching the video, and I've gotta ask, please hit the subscribe and like button below. The like button really helps us with valuable data as to what videos to make and upload in the future to help you out. And the subscribe button will notify you when we upload new content to the channel. This channel is not specific to an offense or a defense. It's not even specific to Rick Stewart. I fly over the country filming college coaches and state championship coaches of, of, about their offenses, about their drills, about practices, about defense, about program building, team building, fundraising, and weight training. It's all about coaches helping coaches. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like below. And as always, better today, but never as good as tomorrow.